let's now go ahead and look at part b of the first question this is chapter 3 of snyder and nicholson so the question is asking graph a typical indifference curve for which the following utility function uh, for the following utility function and determine whether they have convex indifference curves so the utility function given to you is root x y it will be convex ic if mrs would diminish as x increases so basically as x increases the slope should decrease then it would be convex to the origin let us find mrs this will be mu x by mu y this will be how utility changes as x changes, how utility changes as y changes. When you will differentiate with respect to x, make sure that you hold y constant. So, you know, root y is constant and differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x. This is nothing but root x into root y. When I differentiate with respect to x i hold y constant and differentiation of root x is 1 by 2 root x similarly when i differentiate with respect to y i will hold x constant so root x is constant 1 by 2 root y and when you do that you will get root y by 2 root x into 2 root y by root x. So this will be y by x. So your MRS is y by x. Just one thing to observe. Note that MRS is a function of the ratio of y by x. It's a function of ratio. When the slope is a function of the ratio of the two uh, units, the ratio of the two by, uh, you know, uh, goods, it is called a homothetic utility function. Right. Now let's go ahead and check whether MRS is diminishing or not. Clearly, even without differentiating, I know that as I increase X, MRS decreases. So it is diminishing. But you can go one step ahead and you can differentiate. So if I differentiate MRS, with respect to x, I will get hold y constant. Differentiation of 1 by x will be minus 1 by x square. So you will get minus y by x square. This is clearly negative. Therefore, MRS is diminishing. Right? And if you look at this utility function, this is a clear cobb Douglas utility function, well-defined. So this is of the form x to the power alpha, y to the power beta, because here my alpha is half and beta is also half. So a well-defined utility function, it looks like this. This is x, o, y. And note that in this case, the MRS, which is the slope, it's a function of the ratio of the two inputs. So it's a function of how much Y and X you use. So note that this ray through the origin, this represents a certain Y by X value. For example, if it is at 45 degree line, somewhere here, 
then y by x will be one because y will be equal to x. So I'm saying that this MRS is exactly equal to this ratio in this case. This is what I have got. Right? So I can simply find this by finding y by x. y by x. y by x. That is what you can go ahead and do. Okay. 